Hey, it's me, Laura, the creator of this podcast. Before the episode begins, I just wanted to thank this month's new patron, Maryland Kinney. If you're interested in financially supporting us and getting a patron shouted as well as bonus content, make sure to check out our Patreon at patreon.com slash auroraverlasting. Now, let's get to the episode. Aurora Everlasting June 28, 234, 1902 How's the tent looking? Pretty great, if I do say so myself. I put our stuff inside too. Cool. I didn't see anything out of the ordinary inside our perimeter. I think we're good for now. Can't let a guard down though. Can't let a guard down though. Uh, do you want to hear a joke? Is it a pun? Because if it's another pun, I will kill you. It's not a pun. But you have to answer a question. <sighs> Go ahead. What does your name spell backwards? Neda. What does that mean? Nothing. <laughs> Why is this funny? Why are you laughing? <laughs> it, it means nothing. I don't mean to be rude, Flynn, but your jokes are getting worse every day. Oh, you love them. I don't even understand them. If you did, you would love them. That doesn't make any sense. Should I explain it to you? Yes. So, it's pretty funny because your name is Aiden and Nada is Spanish Shut for... Shut up! Wow, that's... I'm serious. There's someone over there. Oh. Oh, no. What are they doing? They seem kind of lost. Should we help them? No. I, I'm, I'm be... going to help them. Flynn, damn it. Hey, hey, do you need help? Flynn, I will kill you. <laughs> Hello? Hi, I'm Flynn. Do you need any help? You seem kind of lost. I'm sorry, but am I in hell? Depends who you ask. No, 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 you're not. Oh, really? So heaven or, or neither? I grew up Catholic, so I guess I kind of expected one of those. But who am I to dictate the afterlife? The afterlife? Yes. Listen, this is either a trap or she's just insane. Either way, let's send her back on her way. Aiden, she clearly needs her help. With what? She's... I'm, I'm right here. And I'm not insane. Thank you very much. Why do you think you're dead? Because I died. I'm pretty sure you're not dead. How would you know? Well, for one, I'm alive. And the angry one over there is also alive. So it seems highly unlikely that you are dead. Uh, okay, so where am I then? On the border to the Zatsev colony. Did you come over from the southern colonies or the... What? I... Am I on Earth? Uh, no. This has to be a trap. Where am I then? On Endor, obviously. Oh. What? I... I don't think it was all that obvious to her. So, this is awkward, but do you maybe want to come inside? I, inside what? Oh, our tent, over there. Okay, stop. This is not how we're doing this. You? I'm arresting you. What? You're under arrest in the name of the Zatsev colony guard for trespassing onto our territory, and you're coming with us to the tent. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I guess that's fair. Uh, no, no it's not. Come on. Listen, we can do this the easy or the... Yeah, 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 yeah. Why do I need to go with you? Because I just arrested you. Uh, that's... Also, there's a sandstorm coming, so we really need to get inside. We can talk this all out in the tent. All right? Damn. July 2, 193, 11.49. Perfectly aware that you have not completed your probation period yet, and if one... One more mistake of yours costs us an entire week. You will not finish it. You have wasted my time, my assistant's time, and most importantly, the time of a test subject. Any more transgressions on your part, and I will see you out myself. Do you understand? You're dismissed. A bit harsh, if you ask me. You haven't seen harsh. Still, he's in training. You could have been a bit more... Friendly? Yes. This. This is why I'm in charge. Friendly doesn't help anyone grow and learn from their mistakes. It doesn't? This is a discussion for another time, Eliza. Sure. 
Here's the results of the tests he didn't ruin. Oh, I see. Number 176. Dead already. It was doing so well in phase one. You know how it is. <sighs> Did you turn it on yet? Hmm? Oh, yes. It's been recording for a minute already. Good. Good to it. Subject 34 is stable after showing symptoms of radiation poisoning. As are subjects 35, 39 and 41. Subjects 5 to 16 as well as 18 to 23 are diseased because of an unauthorized increase in benzodiazepine. The responsible assistant has been disciplined. Do you not know how to knock? I'm sorry, there's an emergency? What kind of an emergency? The patrols found someone on the grounds and... Are they in custody now? Yes. Excuse me, but then how is this an emergency? The patrol are saying they appeared out of nowhere. What? He he said they just fell out of the sky right in front of him. Do you think it's an attack? No. Did he get their name? Yes, um, they said it's Leotar... Uh, Ten... Ten Yim. Yes. Oh my, you don't think... Sounds like we've got another one. Bring them in, treat them well. We'll be there to greet them. Yes, ma'am. This is what we've been waiting for. <laughs> yes, I can't believe it worked. We did it. We did it. So let's do this, shall we? June 28, 234, 1927. Hmm. 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 What? Maybe we should talk? But what? What? Now you want to talk to me? After you dragged me in here, you resisted arrest. You arrested me for no reason. But you are a stranger trespassing on our territory. Maybe we should talk about something else? What's your name? Come on, we're obviously going to be here for a while and it seems like you've got a story to tell if you think this is Earth and all that. Anna. Anna Kastner. Great, I'm Flynn. The grumpy one is Aiden. May I ask you, why did you think you were on Earth? I mean, that's kind of far from here. Yeah, I guess. So? <sighs> so, the last thing I remember is my uh, crewmate and I were in the landing pod heading to Ender 7. But we were still a good ways away from here. And then I woke up in the middle of the desert like an hour ago. Why were you... Wait, wait a second. Ender 7? This... We're on Ender 18. There is no Ender 7. Are you... I... You're lying! What? No. Where is Ender 18 even supposed to be? I would know about it. Especially if there are colonies there. That seems like an education issue on your end. Aiden... So you have been losing time? Yes, I guess. I don't know how to explain this to you and you... Well, she doesn't seem to be listening. Don't worry about her. It's... Let's just say we don't usually get visitors as friendly as you on this end of the border. Oh, so you're the border guard then? Yes, we just got promoted. Don't tell her all that. Aiden. Don't Aiden me. We don't know who she is or why she's here. You know who I am. And why are you here? How did you get here? Yeah, I thought you'd say that. No unnecessary risks this time. Are we sure the tent can handle all this? You built it. Okay, let me correct then. I'm not sure the tent can handle all this. Suit up? Yeah, let's. What are you doing? We are going to cover our faces and get ready, just in case the tent collapses. Here, take this. Oh, it's a locator. We should be able to find each other with it, in case we get separated. It's nothing nefarious, I promise. How do I put it on? Good, now put this on your face. Flynn! Hurry. Okay, so it also has a mic, in case you need to... Over here! Anna! I... Anna! 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 July 2, 193, 12-23 Could you please state your full name for the record? Leo Tenny. Thank you. My name is Eliza. This is my colleague Dr. Reed. We'd like to talk to you about what happened. Oh yes. 
I like to talk about that too. Just uh, may I ask a question before we start? Of course. How exactly did I get here? The last thing I remember before I almost crushed poor Jake is all of the animals in my lab freaking out. And that memory just stops. But I know there's something after that. There's something I'm forgetting. It's just out of reach. This isn't the best way to describe it. I'm sure of that. Do you get what I'm trying to say? I think I understand. I'm sorry to say that we don't know how you got here, but we will do the best we can to figure it out. All right. Do you know what happened to the rest of my crew? We No. So far, the only indication of anything unusual happening on your mission is your appearance here. Oh. Were you expecting something else? No, I... This would be easier with my friend, my crew. Don't worry too much about it now. I'm sure we can figure this out. Until we do, you can stay here at the facility. We always have a couple of spare rooms. Uh, thank you. Of course. Just one last question. Yes? We might need your help. I would like to do some tests on you and... Of course. I'd do anything to figure out where my friends are. Good. Eliza will show you to your room and give you a short tour if you'd like that. Yes, that'd be great. Fantastic. I will get straight to work then. Thank you for your help. <laughs> I guess it was lucky that I ended up right in front of a porous facility then. Yes, I suppose we should thank luck for that. June 29, 254, 956. What the? What the? Where did a freaking sandstorm go? Hello? Flynn? Anyone? Oh, oh no. It happened again, didn't it? Pull yourself together. No use crying over things that are out of your control, right? If Evelyn were here... <clears throat> if Evelyn were here, she'd tell me to be rational. <laughs> and then she'd do the dumbest things she could think of. <laughs> huh. But Evelyn isn't here. It's just me. So, where do I go from here? I guess... This direction is as good as any. How are the two suns and it's still this cold? You'd also think a spacesuit would be warmer. Have I been at this dune before? I really... Location service is active. So this whole colony thing really is Poros doing, huh? It's nice to hear a familiar voice, though. Wait a second. I could just... Okay, that's a tad more complicated than what I'm used to. But... No, don't give up on me now. Okay, let's just... Done! Sharing location. So I'll just wait here until those two guards find me. Good. I can't believe under 18 is a thing. I can't believe I didn't know about it. Especially if it's colonized. It... Well, I suppose there's only two options, really. Either Aiden was lying... Or it was discovered and colonized after we took off. But that's just... That's incredibly unlikely. Or... Or Poros was lying when they said we were the first mission to make it out of our solar system. But... No. They didn't have any reason to lie to us. It wouldn't have impacted our mission at all to notice another habitable planet close enough to home. I mean... I could still be dead. I could be hallucinating. Anna. I hope I'm not dead. Because if I'm not dead, Evelyn isn't either. And maybe, maybe she's looking for... Anna! I'm here! 
How did you get so far away from the base? I was just here suddenly. I just got here like five minutes ago. What? Yeah. Is it normal for sandstorms to stop that quickly or... No, nothing about any of this is normal. You were gone for half a day. I... You're right. There really is nothing normal about this. Let's just head back, alright? Sure. By the way, we got some company while you were gone. Okay. And they want to meet you. July 2, 193, 2236. Leo Tony, Zoologist on the N7 mission. <laughs> right here, right in front of our nose. This is the breakthrough we've been working towards for years now. This is the key. Even better, we didn't even have to use force. If we play our cards right, they'll just do it voluntarily. Hand us everything we've ever wanted. <sighs> this is the beginning of something great. Hey Sophie, or as you might know me, Margot. Before the episode's credits, I want to tell you about Hello from the Hello Woods. If you listen to Aurora Everlasting, you probably enjoy queer characters trying to survive the horrors that lurk around them. Then Hello from the Hello Woods is just right for you. You can find them wherever you listen to podcasts, as well as on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram at The Hello Woods. Or look up their website hellofromthehellowoods.com. Do check it out. You might find something you like. Or something might find you. Aurora Everlasting returns with its next episode on February 7th, 4 p.m. Central European time. It is produced by Laura Reicher and protected under a Creative Commons 4.0 international license. This episode was written, directed and edited by Laura Reicher. It featured Marie-Christine Heiling as Anna Kessner, Jasmin Lachbaumer as Leo Ternier, Victoria Krenn as Dr. Reed, Mona Reicher as Eliza, Max Schachner as Flynn, Leonie Ebenberger as Aiden, Sophie Erhardt as the disembodied voice, and Laura Reicher as Colin. If you want to help us out or show your support, tell a friend about this podcast. Or, if you're feeling really crazy today, you can even tell two friends. You could also review our podcast wherever you like. The best way for us to gain new listeners is with your help, because, let's be honest, our marketing budget is non-existent. If you're interested in bloopers, extra content, or you just want to financially support the podcast, make sure to subscribe to our Patreon at patreon.com slash auroraeverlasting. And for some background infos, feel free to check out our social media. We're at aurora underscore everlast on Twitter and at aurora underscore everlasting underscore podcast on Instagram. Thank you for listening and find us on the podcasting app of your choice for the next episode. <laughs>